and DJ Q45. Chupo Five, boo. We don't ride out. We take over. Yeah, you know what it is. T Roy right here inside your ear. And today, we got nobody but Plies on the hot seat. What's up, bro? Now, listen, man, listen. Now, I sent this out on Instagram. I sent this out on my Facebook and my Twitter. Right. I've had mad questions come in, and people want to know things about Plies. So, look, pick a number. The first question, 1 through 50, just pick a number. Uh, 17. 17. Why 17? I don't know. You said pick a number. <laughs> okay. <laughs> question 17 comes from my homegirl off of Instagram. She wants to know, um, what kind of student were you in school? Um, I did all right. I mean, in, 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 I, I mean, in elementary, I was pretty tight with it. In high school, I was more of an athlete, so... I did enough to, to be able to play on Friday. Um, what you, sport do you play, man? I play football. Football, what position? Receiver. What's your favorite football team right now? Who do you think is going to do it for 2013? I'm a gambler, so I can't have a favorite team. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who you got your money on? It depends on what they're playing. Oh, okay, okay. Well, this weekend, let's see, the uh, Eagles and the Jaguars. The Jacksonville. <laughs> Question number two. Plies definitely in the hot seat. Uh, pick a number, man. One through fifty. One through fifty. Seven. Seven. Seven, man. Um, how many cars do you have, and what is your favorite? Um, uh, I got eleven cars, but my favorite, uh, probably, probably, uh, probably my Mercedes. Nah, let me change that. I wasn't gonna say my Mercedes because I, I drive it all the time. I ain't got yeah. rims or nothing on it. It's just a good get around car but I'll probably say my um my Pontiac. Pontiac? Yeah. Six to seven. Oh, I was about to Ooh. say. Yeah. Vert? I got a I got a Vert. I got a yeah I got a Vert and a hard top. What, what color? Uh I got a chrome my 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 hard top chrome but my um convertible bronze. What was your first car you ever had? First car you ever owned? Uh a Honda Civic my brother gave it to me. Really? Yeah. A Honda Civic. Great. I had four twelve I mean four twelve <laughs> kickers. <laughs> he had an Alpine system? No, I had no I had an Alpine system. I know he had a um my amp. I had a Sherwood amp. He gave me a Sherwood amp. My deck. I had an um, Alpine deck. He had a crossover and we had an epic. Y'all know what the epic is? Yeah. Yeah. You pull that little knob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's my first time he gave it to me. Told you man, we got plies in the hot seat. So far we just sizzling it up. Yeah. Last and final question, man. Right. Pick a number one through fifty. Uh, twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Any particular reason why twenty-seven? Uh, you see what I'm going? I'm doing seven, 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 seven. twenty-seven. Yeah, sevens are lucky numbers. Yeah. Sevens are always lucky numbers. Twenty-seven. Oh, I like this question, man. Uh, do you have any pets, man? Nah, I got no pets. You don't own no pets? No pet, bro. No dog, no cat, no fish? No. Nope. For real? No. You don't like animals? They cool, I just ain't got time to tend to them. <laughs> if, you, no if you could get an animal right now, if you could get a pet, what would you have? Because I know you thought about it. You know what? And it might sound crazy. I want to go, I always said I want to go to another country. Yeah. And get me an exotic from another country and just make up my pet. I always said I want to do that. You know, when you go to them foreign countries, yeah. and you find the women that's submissive, they just, they're just just to be your pet. That's what I probably would do. We need to go to another country. <laughs> <laughs> we, we need to go to another country. Look, man, we got plies in the hot seat. It wasn't that hot, but we definitely hot. gave you some info. I want to hot. Yeah, we got my man in the building. Now, listen, man, Purple Heart is the next big project. What should we know about this album, bro? All uh, right now, you know, the label trying to do um, Black Friday, or they trying to do Christmas. Um, this time, man, I want to let the music take me to my release date. Before, I used to set the date. And yeah. I used to chase the date. Um, but we got the What We Doing, the um, F and the What I Done right now. That was a setup record for my first official single um, called Faithful. We coming with it um, Labor Day weekend, so that's probably another week and a half away. Yeah. But, you know. I'm going to let you hear when we get off another one of them records. Talk, well, tell me a little bit about Faithful right now so um, we get a little understanding. Mm -hmm. it's, fe it's featuring Rico Love. Um, okay. 
probably the best songwriter in the game right now. Um, it's just one of the records, man. Again, it's just me me talking that talk on it. So Now, is, is this going to be a woman record? Is this going to be for the ladies? Because, you know, you, when you come middle. in for the ladies, come on, man, you brought out Becky. I think it's in the middle. It's in the middle? I think Becky for the... the, the I don't know. Beck is probably for the dudes, I guess. Beck is probably one of the most controversial radio record songs we played on the radio. Yeah. See, every time we played it. Yeah, G. Wiz was scared of that record. Yeah, he was very scared. Yeah, G. Wiz was scared. He, and, but every time we played it, the phone lines would light up. Do you know what he's talking about? That ain't that bad, though. You think it's bad? No, I never thought it was bad. I loved it. See, people always. See, I always that's, right, that's what I'd be like. People be thinking. People be thinking my music be kind of edgy, but. I just think it's relatable, and I think it's honest. That's what, when people always ask me the kind of music I make. I just tell them I make honest music, mm -hmm. and I think that's what I think that's what Beckett was. It was just kind of honest. Well, honestly speaking, to everybody who's tuned in, your Plies fans, your fan base, your core, the Goon Nation, all that man. What you want to say to the city, to the listeners, to the internet? What, just speak to the people, man. I love the city, man. Um, it's the first major city outside of the crib, outside of Fort Myers that ever embraced me, ever took me in, man. Um, double salute to G Wiz, you know. Double salute to everybody over here at the station, man. Um, it's been a, it's been a special, it's been a special city for me from day one. Like, you got a lot of artists that come through here. They might have a hot record. They might have a hot situation going on at the time. They might come here and do fifteen hundred the first time they come here. You know, next two times they come out to that, they do two three hundred. But I think the real artists are made in, in Duval. Like, if you really look at the artists who matter in this game. Um, they can come here and do numbers. If you can't come to do all and do numbers, you don't matter in this game for real. Real talk, man. Look, bro, it's always a pleasure sitting down here chopping it up with you, man. And you all, you know, you always welcome. The door is always open. Double salute, man. Bigger, what's happening? Everybody, Duval, what's happening? Um, oh, I got a. I don't know if y'all familiar with them, but I got a little part and I had a meme with them tracks too, Sean T. So I want to shout out my own boy. And uh, just so everybody knows, you are coming back to Jacksonville in September. September twenty first, I think I was Skyline. Yeah, Skyline. Skyline, September twenty first. So, you know, got some got some things I'm gonna bring with me at that time. Like I said, building the lookout for the first uh, my first official single, Faithful, featuring the big homie Rico Love, dropping Labor Day weekend. So we should be rocking and rolling by the time I get back in the next time. Hey, it's Real Talk with Plies, man. This is how we do. Hey, go to the website, 933thebeatjams.com, iHeartRadio.com slash T-Roy, so you can be in the know. What we doing? 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 I'ma ask you straight up. Like I ain't really like trying to like be funny. But I see you on your way and get your gas money. Cause I ain't pressed on this end by no pussy, honey. Cause I don't really like need like shit from you. Told me come scoop you up and I did. What's up, Q45 YMCNB? My brother T Roy here with me, Mr. Power 30. It's and the takeover show today. And we here with the jewelry store. The iciest man I <laughs> know. Him, man. Supplies. Don't believe him, don't it's believe him. AKA the store. Diamond Pies. supply store. Pete, <laughs> hey, what's up, man? Talk to the people, man. Hey, man. You know, I already know his family right here, man. And on my left and on my right, man. T Roy Q45 from day one, dog. When I say my day one homie, that's what that is, uh -huh. man. Everybody in the 904, man, you know how we rockin' double salute to G-Wiz, man. 2 Trey 9 all the way up to the 904. Yeah. See, you watch Inside this. the camera, I can see it. Bling, bling, bling. You're watching it. You're watching it. See what else happens when you watch this. Supplies, man, the takeover. Where that money owe me, man? What's my money? What's my mother? Oh, I'm sorry. We don't handle that business on the camera.